Welcome mga katropa sa itong mga higala ng mga Cebuano sa Abiyan at ng mga Ilonggo and of course sa buong Pilipinas. So ngayon pag-uusapan pa natin, ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng nut sa Sijin nut? And alin ba ang mas maganda? Nut and Sijin nut or Sijin nut? Umpisahan po natin sa nut. Nut stands for Network Address Translation. We will not go deeper about sa technicalities mga katropa. We will just focus on how it works for us to understand the basics. If you observe po katropa yung ating pong ISP ONT gateway or tinatawag din po nating router, meron pong dalawang IP addresses. The one IP address which is also our public IP address and the LAN IP address which is our private IP address. Ang LAN IP po natin can create a private network with up to 254 devices or IP addresses. Yan po yung 192.168.1 up to 254. Using our LAN IP address, makakonect po yung mga devices natin sa ating network. They can enter connect. We can even play LAN games. So, sino po sa inyo nakaabot ng Counter-Strike na LAN games, di ba? We can also connect printers, smartphones, computers to computers, and other devices within our network without the need of internet. On the other hand, yung ating pong one IP or public IP address, that is unique. So, no other device owns the same public IP address. So, ano naman yung use ng one IP or yung public IP address po natin? Well, okay naman po tayo dito sa ating local area network. Maka-connect, maka-interconnect naman po yung mga devices po natin. However, kung gusto po natin kumonect outside our network, like the internet, we need public IP address. And this is where NAT comes in. Here is the illustration, Katropa. This is your local area network. Let's say si PC with IP address 192.168.1.4 tries to connect to the internet. NAT will translate its device IP address or private IP address into your ONTS1 or public IP address. Then after that, makakonek na po yung ating PC sa internet. It simply means katropa that without public IP address, hindi po tayo makakonek sa internet. But we need not to translate our device IP address or private IP address to ISP's given one or public IP address. Ano ba talaga ang purpose ng NAT? May tinatawag po tayong IPv4 exhaustion mga katropa or pagkaubos po ng mga IP addresses. So, the main purpose talaga ng NAT is to conserve IP address or pagtipid po ng IP address. Yung IPv4 kasi mga katropa na gamit po natin ngayon can only accommodate up to 4.2 billion IP addresses. It sounds more than enough na at that time, mga year 1980s. Pero mga late 1993, early 1994, umaabot na po sa 5 billion yung population natin sa mundo. So, wala pa mga masyadong computer devices at that time. Pero yung mga brilliant engineers po natin, na force na po nila mga katropa na pwedeng maubos yung mga IP addresses po natin. The original plan kasi mga katropa, each computer devices must have a unique public IP address. So, to solve the possible IPv4 exhaustion, or pagkaubos ng mga public IP address, NAT was conceived o naimbinto po yung NAT. With the help of NAT mga katropa, at kung ma-maximize, this is only an example katropa, yung 4.2 billion na public IP address, yung example natin kanina na 254 devices sa private network, so mga 4.2 billion times 254, mga trillion IP addresses din po yan. Aside from IPv4 conservation mga katropa, ang NAT ay nakakatulong din po sa security ng ating network. Bakit? Dahil hindi po directly ma-access yung, yung ating private network from the outside. 
Bakit? Dahil ang makikita lang po nila is yung ating public IP address. Although it is less safe na at this point of time mga katropa, pero at least it will serve as our first line of defense. Kung baga, may na po ba kayo katropa? For simplicity's sake, uh, ang trabaho po ng nat mga katropa is to translate our private IP address to public IP address and vice versa. Para makakonek po tayo sa internet or sa other network of networks. Ngayon, ano naman ang CGNAT? CGNAT Carrier Grade NAT or tinatawag din po itong LSN or Large Scale NAT. So, ibig sabihin, ang CGNAT ay NAT pa din katropa. It shares the same purpose with NAT and that is to conserve IP addresses. Dahil dumadami na po tayo mga katropa, we are now, we are now 7.8 billions yung population po natin sa mundo. So, each person average siguro 1 is to 3 yung mga devices. Merong isang tao, merong limang devices. Isang tao, sampung devices. So, dahil po dyan, not alone is not enough to conserve public IP addresses. Kaya, CGNAT comes to the rescue. Before we fully migrate from IPv4 to IPv6. Ang CGNAT pala katropa, it supports IPv4 and IPv6 IP addresses. By the way, yung IPv6 nga pala katropa, uh, can accommodate up to 340 trillion of trillion of trillion IP addresses compared po sa ating IPv4 na 4.2 billion lang. With CGNAT mga katropa, pwede po ma-maximize ng ISP po natin tulad ng PLT Globe, Sky Fiber, Converge, yung kanilang public IP address. So, SKL lang katropa, yung public IP address po, binibili din po yan ng mga ISP po natin. Yung CGNAT IP range starts with 100.64.0.0 up to 100.127.255.255. If ma-maximize po mga katropa, given sa CGNAT IP range, Aabot po yan ng isang public IP address and to 4,194,304 uh, IP addresses. I'm not sure lang katropa if they can do that sa isang public IP address. Pero may nalaman ako by implementing CGNAT, parang they can maximize yung isang public IP address and to 4,000 private IP addresses. Yung isa nga is parang umabot sa 64,000 private IP addresses. I'm not sure lang katropa if ganyan din po dito sa Pilipinas. If you are behind si Janet mga katropa, dalawa na po yung private network. Your LAN and another private network. Kung sa NAT, ang one IP po ninyo ay ang iyong public IP address. Pero if you are behind si Janet, Ang 1IP po ninyo ay mag-start sa 100. Wala ka na pong direct access sa iyong public IP address. Let's take a look at this illustration, Katropa. For example, si PC with IP address 192.168.1.4 tries to connect to the internet. Ang mayayari po, Katropa, from your LAN or local area network, itra-translate po ang iyong device or private IP address ni CGNAT and to another private IP address. Then, yung private IP address na yan, it translate into public IP address. From there, makakunik ka na sa internet. Ang disadvantage ng CGNAT katropa ay yung port, for port forwarding ay hindi na po talaga gagana. Dahil wala ka ng direct access sa iyong public IP address. The very reason na marami pong gusto makaalis sa CGNAT. Kung isa ka po doon, maram po tayong guide na ginawa dito. So, mga misconceptions sa CGNAT, uh, hihina daw ba, hihina daw, hihina daw po ba yung internet connection if you are behind CGNAT? Actually, katropa, hindi dapat hihina yung connection. Although, I must admit na yung implementation po ng ibang ISP, ng PLDT, yung early, implement, early implementation pa po nila, medyo unstable at medyo humihina naman talaga yung internet connection. Pero sa ngayon po, na medyo okay na po yung pag-implement nila, 
And I guess fully implemented na po dito sa lugar po namin. Uh, okay na po yung connection namin. Mas mabilis pa nga yung CGNAT. If I am behind CGNAT compared po kapag i-uncGNAT po yung aking connection. Pero depende pa rin po yan mga katropa sa ISP po ninyo at sa inyong area.